hey guys welcome back to my channel today we are going into the part two the long awaited part two of this video how to start making money as a data analyst without getting a nine to five data analyst job if you are here to go through the first video i made on this topic you can pause this one and go through that first video but if you have already gone through it then you can continue with this today i'm not going to talk about anything different i'm only going to show you guys how to exactly implement what i talked about in the first video that is how to approach a small business owner how to actually write a proposal how to go through all the processes even how to package your products and your services if you would like to get all this gist stay to the end of this video and before you go ahead please like and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to leave a comment when you are done watching so let's begin So guys we're just going to jump right into the video so the first thing you have to do before you even start reaching out to the small business owners is you have to do your research so guys you have to take note that these small business owners must not even be supermarket or you know shop a small business owner that have a shop it might be all these online vendors like all these bakeries and all these um, online vendors that say hey you know that do businesses online it can just be any of them or, or even any um any company that you see online that you are actually interested in it can be any of them it doesn't have to be all these you know shop small business owners in nigeria it doesn't have to be i'm just just for context okay so before you can go ahead to even start meeting the business owners or the managers you have to first do your research you have to sit down do a research on that business okay so if they have a social media account go through the social media account try to understand what they do all right when you understand what they do you'll be able to know a, a problem they are likely to face and a problem that data can likely solve for them so do a research on them go to their facebook page their instagram page go through all of their pages try to understand them okay go to the um the shop observe what they sell observe how things go how things happen around the shop that is if it's a shop and they don't have any business they don't have any um, social media presence okay just do your research try to make sure to understand what they do and understand how data can actually help them so when you finish doing your research you cannot understand what data can actually help this business to achieve this step is very very important because that is the bedrock of everything if you are not able to give them a medicine that is going to heal their sickness they will not see any use of you so it's important to know where he's paying them so you can actually use data to help solve their problem now after you are done doing your research the next step is to now approach the owner of the small business okay so if it's an online business you can reach out to them through a dm all right to your dm any whether it's whatsapp or facebook or instagram wherever you can reach out to them introduce yourself tell them oh this is who i am my name is so and so i'm a data analyst and I can use data to actually help you make more sales i can help you track your sales and i can help you analyze your sales monthly and weekly and i can also create a template or a Excel tracker for you that will help your business so you can type this in now so i'm going to be putting the template for this i'm going to put it on the screen okay so you can look through it and also tell all your template that way and you send them the message introducing yourself and stating out the things you can do for them very important that's why it's important for you to do the research first so when you do the research state out the things you can actually do for them with their data tell a lot to what they do so you see it's not just it's not going to be one template you're going to use for all the business owners you are going to reach out to they are going to use a different template for them okay because they they have they are in different fairs like they are it's not the same business that they are doing so you have to tell all the template to the business that you are reaching out to, to the kind of business they do it's very important so when you observe, observe their problem right you can tell them what you can do for them okay so you can even tell them oh in case you don't have 
a template to put down your inventories and track your inventories and track your sales and all that i can create a, a, an excel tracker or an excel template for you to be using so you don't have to know some of them they will buy some of these things yes they buy some of these things to keep stock of their business or their products you can tell them you can create it for them okay just state out the things you can do so this is the first step this is the first step of the proposal so when you reach out to them and when they get back to you will now move to the next step so even if they, are not, they don't get back to you don't be discouraged you can send it out to as many as possible and trust me one or two will definitely reach out to you so let's say it's a physical place you are going like you want to go to the shop or the office when you go to the office you have to meet the manager right ask um the workers to direct to the manager you can ask to speak to the manager or speak to ceo whoever that is available and then you introduce yourself and tell them what you do you can offer to do a free audit for them offer to do a free audit for them if you notice that the conversation is not going very well and they are not going to like it's looking like they are not so they are skeptic, skeptical about what you are proposing to them you can offer to do a free audit that means a free work for them just to show them what you can do so you can offer to take their data and do a free audit for them or even just build a sample tracker and show them what they can do imputing data into those trackers show them what it can do or how they can actually use this tracker and then you can use the sample data to actually analyze and show them what you can offer them or you can ask them to actually give you their data so you can use it to show them what you can do with data for their business so these free audits will help them build trust in you because trust me this is nigeria and most small businesses might not want to just give out their money especially because they don't even know the use of data or the importance of data they do not know almost 96 percent of small business owners in nigeria they don't even know the use of data they don't so you need to help them build trust in you by offering to do a free audit for them okay so it can just be a one-time thing and if they like they cannot call you back so next, the next step is now what to do when they are they call you back and they ask you to send in your proposal properly so when you're not going to send in your proposal this is the template you can use to do that because some people they are asking me for um templates of how to put out their proposal in the comments so this is a template you can actually make use of so they've agreed to you right and you are not meant to send out a proposal that will list your um, your packages that list what you're going to be doing for them even the pricing and everything so this is how you should put in that proposal and send to their email so i'm going to be reading that from my laptop here but i'll also put it on the screen so that you can you know make use of it or i'll even pin it in the comment section so you can copy and use the template if you wish or you can decide to generate your own template so you can start with something like subject simple sales and inventory dashboard for you put in the business name and then hi your own name thanks for reviewing this sample insight i'm confident a full dashboard will help you so let's see you have already done the free audits okay and you have shown them the free audit and then this is the follow-up email you are sending to them after that then this is the things you are going to list out that is going to help their business that the offer the um the offers you are going to give them or the service you are going to be giving them the first is you are going to track top selling versus low selling items monitor stock to avoid wastage view weekly sales trends and cash flow remember that this thing varies this is just a template it's just an example depending on the kind of business you are reaching out to that is what depends on the kind of services you are going to be offering so this is how you are going to list out the services you'll be offering it can be more than this okay i'm just showing you how to go about it so then the project plan set up in excel or google sheet so you are going to agree with them that's really the discussion whether you are going to be using excel or google sheet or if they allow you to use any of the tools fine but most business owners is usually excel that they use okay so you are going to be using the setup will be in excel or google sheets then one week to deliver and two weeks support slash training on whatsapp so let's say one week to deliver the template that's if you are building a, a an excel template for them and then two weeks support to teach them how to make use of a template that is if you are giving them a 
template to track their inventory or their sales so you you give them a one week they'll give you like one week to deliver the template and then two weeks to actually support and train them on how to make use of the template okay then you can go in go in with the, pri the price and this price is just an example it depends on you and it depends on the factors surrounding the business so you need to understand the capacity of the business to actually know what to price so you can make the template you can make the template to be like let's say you can make the price and just the template to be like 50 to 100 k depending on the business that you are working with 50 to 100 k okay that just for the template and then you can package it in a way that you don't just give them the template alone and that is the end of it you can put that's where the package it comes in okay the way to package your um business that's when it comes in that's when you now tell them monthly retainer that's if they want to retain you monthly they can be paying you maybe 40 50 100 200 k depending on your business capacity for weekly reports and support or monthly reports and support so you could be coming monthly to support them to see how they are coming along with the template that's if you build a template for them or if they already have a template you can be coming to analyze the data from the template right that's from the excel tracker of the inventory and their sales you can come to do the monthly analysis and also give them the dashboard every month so you can put in your price you can put in your price the price is depending on the capacity of the business and also on you what you know that you deserve to offer or what you know that you deserve okay or what is good for you okay, now put in let me know which option suits you and we can get started so that the one that will now reach out to you okay we just want the template okay no don't worry we have a template okay we just want analysis of it every month you'll be surprised that most businesses don't even have anyone that do this for them and most times they just run through they don't do proper analysis they just try to observe the data and then they make assumptions but use data make sure you sit down and think make sure you wow them especially when you are doing the free audit give it your best so that they can call you back so they cannot send them this as your package and your service you can even tell them if they refer another business owner to you you can give them one month free support that's one month free analysis and reports if they can refer you to someone else and now let's talk about some things that might be an obstruction or some of the objection they will have towards your proposal it might make them not want to accept you how you can actually handle it so if they say it's too expensive you can just tell them oh this will help you make more sales okay if it will help you make more sales it's going to give you more than what you're even going to pay me so you just have to convince them that your service is worth the amount that you are going to be paid they'll be like okay i can't use excel some of them will be like oh i can't use excel all right that's one of their problems maybe be like okay even if you create a tracker we can't use it that's when you come when you now tell them that you're going to come to support for some time for two weeks teaching their you know workers how to make use of them so and they, may, they might be like i've tried this before let them know that this is not what they've tried before i don't know try to understand what they have tried before and let them know that this is very different the service you are going to offer is different from whatever they've tried before and i'm very sure it's not the same thing they've tried before and after your first uh, meeting with them after your first work for them or your support your analysis or your dashboard for them always send them a follow-up message find out whether they are pleased with your service find out if they are pleased with your service okay and tell them to give you a testimonial tell them to give you a review so that you can use it to get more clients and this will be building your portfolio and your work experience and when you keep putting these things that you are doing online you are going to be irresistible companies will start reaching out to you because they will see that you are a, a solution oriented person you are you're not just out there to make money you're out there to give value then to get money in return okay guys i hope this video helped you and clarify some questions you already had if i did not answer any question in your mind or you are still confused about any other thing do well to leave a comment below and i'm going to be putting 
my community link in the comment section i always do that you can join a community and send me a message okay and ask any question you want or book a section for book a, a personal section for yourself if you have any question at all thank you so much for watching for sharing commenting and for subscribing i'll see you in my part three of this series see you next time bye